So I've wanted the bills for a few years now and I finally decided it's time and I just went for it. This is my aeroponic system. The cabinet I've been retrofitting for this project is 27 inches by 27 inches and about six feet tall. And the misting chamber I'm gonna be using is the Botanicare 22 by 22 flood tables with a piece of white quarter inch plastic I got from my local plastic supplier as the lid. The Aquatec pump and the transformer came as a package about 125 bucks off of Amazon along with the solenoid and the pressure gauge all from Amazon. The accumulator was from a commandeered piece from an old RO system. The overflow valve I believe was from eBay. Then we have the UVC light that was an Amazon choice to keep down any algae that grew. The cycle timer was an old one I had and the DC was just something you could pick off of Amazon also. I decided to mount everything in three separate sections. I have the pump, the transformer, and the pressure regulator. And then I have the overflow valve with the gauge, the solenoid, and the accumulator. And then I have the power strip so that each individual piece can be taken off separately and dealt with if there's a problem on that section instead of removing everything altogether. I decided to go with three-way brass fittings on the outside and a four-way plastic fitting on the inside. I'll be changing out the brass fittings on the outside because brass will corrode over time and the plastic ones won't. Plus, the plastic ones seem to give a better even and level spread of the mist than the three-way brass fittings do. I'm starting my testing with some tomatoes. I took the cuttings off of some plants that were randomly growing in my backyard from last season. And I'm doing this to make sure that if there's any problems, I can address them. So when I move it into a bedroom, that I'm not having any leak issues that are gonna cause problems later on down the road. And the first issue I need to address is the fact that I have a height restriction. So a scrog net's gonna be my solution to the problem. It'll allow me to have a large canopy that's level and flat, but each individual plant will have a lot of surface area and allow themselves to maintain without getting too close to the light and burning themselves. I decided to change out that fluorescent with some Vero 18s, which will be a project I start working on next week. I decided to go with the Vero 18s because they're cheaper, it's a small room, I don't need that much light intensity, and a heat management is also going to be a big problem for me. And the way I'm managing my heat is by using two 12 volt computer fans, and in the bottom center is an Eco Plus 4.5 inch axle fan. And it's pretty strong, but it still gets up to the 90s on really warm days. So to manage those temperatures, I'm looking to lower my power, lower my wattage, but have a better quality light for my planes to grow under. So ever since I got this cabinet a couple years ago, I've been putting a lot of time into it. And I'm pretty proud of this system. If you have any questions, let me know. Other than that, man, peace.